Hi everyone, I'm so excited to say that I'm with Amelia at Sanctum Wood School and we're going to be bringing Science of Hazel to the lab so we'll be showing you lots of practicals. Amelia is going to introduce herself. Hi, my name is Emilia. I am a lab technician. I work in this school, Sanctum Wood School in Cambridge. I am also STEM ambassador, which means I go in other schools to introduce science to the kids and we have a lot of fun together. I have also an Instagram page, emilia.science, and follow me to see all my experiments and videos. Yeah, you should absolutely follow Thank her. Thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> In this rates of reaction video, Amelia and I are going to be investigating the effect of surface area on the rate of reaction. So in terms of our independent variable, what we're changing, we're altering the surface area of our marble chips. So we have calcium carbonate in chip form over here versus its powdered form. Notice that the starting mass of both is the same. So we have to control that particular variable, the starting mass of the calcium carbonate. Also, we need to try to control the temperature we're going to actually measure the rate of reaction by looking at how quickly the carbon dioxide is produced because remember if you react calcium carbonate with hydrochloric acid you're going to produce calcium chloride plus water plus the carbon dioxide that we measure. One final control variable we need to be aware of is keeping the concentration of acid the same. We're going to be using 0.5 molar in both experiments. Okay, so I'm going to measure 25 ml of 0.5 molar hydrochloric acid. And shall we start with the powder, yeah? Yes. So I'm going to start the stop clock immediately. That carbon dioxide is already being given off. We can see the fizzing taking place. So 30 seconds has passed. Okay, the volume is 45. So we've produced 45 centimetres cubed of carbon dioxide using the powdered calcium carbonate. We're now going to repeat the experiment, this time using calcium carbonate chips and obviously maintaining the same volume and concentration of hydrochloric acid. Okay, again 0.5 molanti hydrochloric acid 25 cubic centimeter stop clock started waiting for those 30 seconds okay yep 30 seconds okay this time the volume is five Wow, it's much slower, really slow. Okay, so as we would expect, the smaller surface area of the large calcium carbonate chips has meant that the volume of carbon dioxide produced in 30 seconds is much less than that with the powdered limestone. We can obviously calculate rates of reaction. In order to do that, just do change in volume divided by the time, so that would be 30 seconds. So for this experiment, it would be five divided by 30.